welcome back to Brook Code and welcome back to the fourth video of my Python Advanced Tutorial Series. Today's video we're going to learn about meta classes in Python. So a meta class is a class of a class that defines another class's behavior. Also, if you're new here and you want to know how to code, start by subscribing and turning on the post notifications because I make loads of Python tutorials and other computer related stuff. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, I recommend you subscribe right now so you don't miss out on anything okay so first things first i'm going to start with an example using type so first i'm just going to create a class let's call this something like food type i'm just going to inherit from object so object is a class in python so this comes already created by default so that means you don't have to recreate it as another class so it comes in, it comes created by default when you install python also make sure you must have python installed for this project so here is the website where you can download python this button is download for windows if you're looking for another one such as mac or linux you can just click the highlighted text below if you're on an iphone or ipad you can download the python code button and compiler and ide because this fully works for ipads and iphones and if you have a, if you have an android um, phone or tablet you can download the pydroid 3 compiler i apologize just for any um the interruption so let's continue so this so the full type class is inheriting for the object class and now we have to define our initializer type in def underscore underscore init underscore underscore and we're going to say self f type i also have the python intermediate object oriented program so yes if you want to check that out the playlist link is in the description so you can go check that out and also and also, don't, I forgot to mention, I also leave the Python download links in the description so you can go download for your device. And now we just want to say self.f type equals f type. And now we just want to define to get the type. Just type in def, um, something like get, get f type. It's going to take up self because self is always needed when you're defining a method inside a class. So now what it's saying we're just going to return the self to f type. And now we just want to define main in this. Now we just type in def main. We just want to create a variable f type equals something like food type. I'll just say f type to just set the f type to something like um vegetarian. And we just want to print out um, the the f type variable dot get f type. So if we just call our main function, we'll run that, it's going to give us an output of vegetarian. Now let me show you another example of this type. So we can also create another class which is the veg type. So class veg type. And here we're going to just, um, it's going to inherit from the food type class. And now we just want to um, define the veg foods, so just type def veg foods. It's going to use the self parameter. So make sure to use self only. And now I'm also just like, let's just put something like, um, and now we're just going to return like a list of his spinach bitter guard. Okay, if we run that, it's going to say vegetarian for now. And we just want to um just want to create some variables so just so if we just say um, something like veg type we create a variable something like v v type, and we just want to. Um, so let's just. So let's just. So let's let's just do that, and now let's just create a variable called um, v type, which is short for veg type, and this is supposed to be changed to full type. Sorry, I made a mistake. I forgot that. And now it's just going to say, so now you just want to see which would be our um, veg type. 
and we just want to set the um oh sorry i made a mistake again i was let me just restart all over and type it out um, And we just want to set these brackets and now we just want to print v type dot uh, veg foods All right if we run that we go and get vegetarian and we have an output of spinach and pitagore so that is a basic example of how to use type so now let's get on to meta classes so if also if you're stuck on any code leave leave your um leave your question in the comment section below i'll always get back to you so let me just remove all this code and i'm just going to now it's time to get on to meta classes so i'll give you a basic example of these classes typing class meta but you can name your meta class whatever you want so just for this tutorial call it's my meta but like i said you can call it whatever you want and it's going to inherit from the type class in python and type also comes created by default in python so now we just want to define new inside here so def underscore underscore new underscore underscore and we're just going to cls the name the base is dct and now we just want to print a formatted string something like creative class and we're going to just going to it's going to get from the name parameter and now we just want to return super dot underscore underscore new and underscore underscore self the self um sorry the cls um the name the basis the dct and now we just want to create another class so you're going to create your class something like my class but you can name your class whatever you want so okay so this was basically for my intermediate object oriented programming series if you don't check those out if you want to check those out go check the the playlist link is in the description now we just want to inherit from so let's see meta class equals um for by the name of your meta class and now we just want to type in pass and now we just want to create an object of the class so of, so this which should be my class uh, this sublime text skips showing this annoying power because i have the free version it's saying creating class followed by the name of your class also i'll show you the dynamic way to create a class so so let me re remove all this code and now we just want to add something like attributes let's say attributes equals and this will be a dictionary and we just want to say attribute one which will be something like 42 which is a number and we just want to add method one and which should, this will be a lambda function and something like self and we just want to print uh, let's say format string say attr1 is the said here we're just going to put self dot attr1 okay so now that we have created our attributes inside here we just want to create another class by dynamically so here is where you name your class so you can just name your dynamic class whatever you want so i just call this for this example i just call this dynamic class for this example and this would be a type and we're gonna say something like um dynamic class the in here is just sorry i made a mistake when i was now let's say object and now we just want to say uh, attributes so it's going to just 
So this attribute will get all the attributes from this attribute dictionary we've created. So now it's now we just want to create an object of our dynamic class. We just create the instance of an object. Uh, we can say dynamic class, and we have to just close the brackets, and we just want to print object um object dot attribute one. We run that. It's going to print out. It's going to give us an output of forty two. And now if we just go down here and we say object dot me method one run that it's going to give us an output of 42 and say attribute one is 42 so now we're going to combine um normal meta classes with dynamic classes so it's just like we're creating our custom meta class so let's remove all this code and we're gonna say class custom custom meta it's going to inherit from the type class in python we just want to define new so underscore underscore new underscore underscore say cls the name the basis and the dct and now we just want to print um creating class not by the name and now we just want to say um dct or something like custom custom attribute and we just want to say um this is a custom attribute and we just want to return um super so just to return super dot underscore underscore new underscore underscore and we just want to it's going to see less the name the basis the dct and we just want to create a dynamic class with meta so just so here just typing the name of your dynamic class for this i'll, I'll call this dynamic class um uh, say with meta but you can name your dynamic class with meta whatever you want and we just want to it's going to use custom meta and we're going to say dynamic class with meta and we just want to use the object class in python and we just want to say we want to have a dictionary at one is 42 so if we create it so now we want to create an object of our class so the object it was dynamic class with meta and we just want to print out object attr1 the print object custom attr so if we run our program oh sorry it gave me and um it gave me an error it's supposed to be d not it it gave me an error so so i made a mistake earlier now that we have resolved our error it's going to say creating class dynamic with meta and it's going to print out an output of 24 i mean of 42 and it's going to print out this is a custom attribute so that is pretty much everything for today so if you have any questions or comments please leave in the comment section below i'll always get back to you like the video if you appreciate it it does really really help me out if you with my tutorial so like the video right now and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on anything i'll see you in my next video cheers goodbye